Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new here, my name is Quinton and in this video, we are going to do some crypto news. So we're going to talk about the most important Bitcoin and altcoin news of the last week and this is a new kind of concept so i want to point out the most important news items of the last week in a very short video so that by watching this video people are updated with the most important things that happened in the last week so i think that is pretty important and i do that as well on my twitter page but i know a lot of people are not able to follow me there because they don't have a twitter account or they don't use it actively um, so it would be handy for those people to have it in a video of 10 or 15 minutes here on my YouTube channel summing up the most important news items of the last week. So let me know if you think this is an interesting um, new series, interesting concept. So I really want your feedback on that. All right, so let's get started. And the first item is, of course, the hack of yesterday. So yesterday, Twitter got hacked by a group of hackers and it actually started within the crypto space, but it extended very quickly to the highest profiles in the world. And we can see like a list, a compilation right here of all the tweets that were sent out by very important Twitter accounts. And the people who hacked these Twitter accounts, they did like a typical giveaway scam. So they all said like, yes, yeah, send me a Bitcoin to this address and I will send the double the amount back to you. And really, um, it didn't really work out that well, I think, for them, because I think around now there is $150,000 sent to these addresses. Of course, it is very bad for all the people who lost money, but um, seeing which accounts they hacked and used to do these tweets, I'm very surprised it's not in the millions and maybe they are surprised too. So let's have a quick look to um, who was affected by the Twitter um, hack yesterday. So Gemini, Coinbase, CZ, Crypto Bitlord, but I think he did it himself. It's not very clear whether he got hacked or not. Uh, Binance, Qcoin, Coindesk, Angelo, BTC, Justin Sun, Charlie Lee, The Bitcoin, Twitter account, Tron Foundation, Bitfinex, Ripple, Cash App, Elon Musk, several times, Bill Gates, Uber, Apple, uh, Kanye West, but also like Kim Kardashian, Jeff Bezos and Barack Obama, etc. So many, many people got hacked yesterday and every one of them had like a very similar tweet um, about sending money to a certain Bitcoin address. And then the people who would send it, they got back double the amount. Of course, this is an obvious scam that is already going around for a long time in the crypto space. Um, so again, a warning to you guys, never do that. Never send money to an address that promises you to pay back double the amount that you've sent. This is of course too good to be true. Uh, it's, so it's pure scam. But like I said, the highest profiles in the world were hacked like uh, Barack Obama, um, Kanye West, um, Kim Kardashian, uh, Joe Biden, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, etc. The list goes on and it's really crazy how they were able to do that. And immediately some people expected that this was some kind of inside job because of course all these high profile people, they have very good uh, security normally for their accounts and two factor authentication, etc. So people expected already immediately that this was an inside job and a hack um, of the Twitter system itself, not like individual accounts. Um, and this is actually confirmed by the hackers themselves. They said that the, they convinced Twitter employees to help them hijack these accounts. And they said like a Twitter insider was responsible for a wave of high profile account takeovers on Wednesday, according to leaked screenshots obtained by Motherboard and two sources who took over the account. So there were like leaked screenshots about this, this conversation and about people um, who, who like uh, were doing these inside jobs. And these images were going around on Twitter, but Twitter, they disabled these accounts temporarily um, who 
retweeted these screenshots and we can see like an example of these screenshots like he, uh, right here um, and we see that the example that is given is Binance and you can see like the email has been confirmed and they could simply just change the email address to an email address of the hackers and there was like nothing else needed there was like no um, confirmation needed from a phone or something or from an uh, from the email address itself they could simply in the system itself adjust the email address and this way they were able to reset the password uh, via this new email address and then they were able to get into the account and tweet this stuff out so they are very sure that this was an inside job and this is not the first time this happened because also in 2017 um, a worker briefly deleted president donald trump's account before it was quickly reinstated so uh, this isn't the first time this happened but um, it's very clear that this was an inside job by an employee of Twitter who had like access to all of this data and he probably like received a good amount of money from the hackers to uh, give them like access to this Twitter data tool so this is very likely how it happened but really crazy and um, because of this hack the Twitter stock also crashed down I think pre-market it was down 6.5% um, um, so I'm very curious to see where it will go once the market really opens but the pre-market is not looking good for Twitter. Of course, this is a very big hack and one of the biggest hacks um, in Twitter history. All right, now let's check out some uh, altcoin news as well. And the first news item is that iExec partners up with Google, so that's very big, um, to work on a confidential computer program. And what is it about? Well, iExec is going to advise Google in a program that is, of course, about blockchain. And especially it is about Trusted Execution Environments or TEE. So they're going to work with Google on that. And the funny thing is that iExec is not the only project that announced some kind of partnership with Google this week because on basically the same moment Ontology also announced that they are an official Google Cloud partner and that three Ontology projects get accepted to the Google Cloud partner program. So that is very big and in my opinion the Ontology partnership with Google Cloud is even more important than the iExec um, partnership with uh, Google. So what is it about with Ontology? Well, like you can see right here, so three Ontology projects get accepted to the Google Cloud Partner Program. So project one is a solution for OGQ, a leading global social creator platform for connecting content creators with fans to protect content copyright ownership based on Google Cloud's infrastructure. The second project is tech support for Kayun, a comprehensive logistics service provider focusing on urban transportation and terminal and deliveries and then project three is ontology's dangerous goods delivery solution for Lanxess, which is a german specialty chemicals company integrating google cloud platform benefits blockchain technology and iot technology so pretty cool for ontology i must say and a very cool partnership and in my opinion right now ontology is one to watch in the coming months even the coming years um, especially if one of these three projects will really be rolled out with the help of google cloud and of course the development will also be with the help of google cloud so really cool and really keeping an eye on ontology from now on. And then the third news item is from crypto.com, long-term partner of my channel, and they have resumed the Eurocard wallet top-ups with crypto for the MCO Visa card in Europe. These were temporarily disabled, why? Because they had a problem with their card provider, which was a Wirecard AG in Germany, but a dollar company in the UK is providing cards from crypto.com and the um, the mother holding like wirecard ag in germany filed for bankruptcy but the uh, dollar company in the uk have right now green light again to work with the partners and to just continue its activities so very good news for crypto.com but because of all the things happening with wirecard ag they had temporarily disabled the uh, wallet top-ups so that you can put your cryptocurrencies or convert it to euros and put it on the card so you can use it and right now this resumed so if you are in europe and you don't have a crypto.com card yet this is your chance so you can get yours because they resumed activities both the uh, cards will still be delivered and you can also now wallet 
top up your cards again with your cryptocurrencies so if you're interested in a crypto.com card then i would say go check out the link in the description down below if you sign up with that and you go for a metal card you receive 50 dollars for free if you sign up with my referral link in the description down below all right the next news item is that stellar foundation joins forces with samsung to integrate its blockchain ecosystem and that is also pretty big for stellar of course um, because honestly i didn't hear a lot from stellar in the last several years even but this is actually an announcement out of nowhere and it is about this so stellar's integration into the samsung blockchain key store is a significant step for our network and the incredible ecosystem of applications built on this platform samsung provides a key management solution that is user friendly and drives greater adoption of blockchain technology with this integration we've opened up to a new network of users that can benefit from the combined innovation of Stellar and Samsung. So it is about the Samsung uh, blockchain key store that will integrate the Stellar's, Stellar uh, blockchain. And also it is for um, Samsung Galaxy smartphone owners. So when this is going to come or when this is will be available or integrated into the Samsung Galaxy phones, uh, for that, we are waiting for further announcements. The next news item is about Microsoft that is partnering up with Waves. And this is talking about Microsoft Russia. And of course, Waves is also a Russian blockchain project. So it shouldn't be surprising that Microsoft Russia is working right now with Waves, of course, because it's also Russian uh, to create like tokenized industrial assets. And then the next one is Travella. Travella.com is partnering up with Expedia or at least it's using Expedia's API. So from now on, you can book your uh, holidays via Travala.com because it will offer all of the Expedia offers as well. So basically you can pay with your cryptocurrencies on Travala.com to pay for your holidays. So that is actually pretty cool because we're talking about 700,000 listed hotels and you can pay with 30 cryptocurrencies on Travala.com. So right now you can also book your holidays on Expedia and you can pay with your cryptocurrencies basically so very cool I think and then the last thing I want to mention is that DMG my latest addition to my own portfolio is going to get listed on OKEX today DMG is doing very well since I reviewed it here on the channel at that moment it was around one dollar and five cents right now it's at one dollar fifty and it will get listed on OKEX so I think this is a very big first step because before that it was only only on some smaller exchanges and on Uniswap V2, which I used to buy it. But right now the first big centralized exchange will also list DMG. So I'm very excited about that. And I think some more news will come soon because the team hinted on a big partnership that will be signed this week with more and more cryptocurrencies being locked up on the DeFi money market platform. So it's growing, it's growing hard and I'm very excited about DMG, but this is a very cool first steps so i wanted to let you know that because a lot of people asked me after a video where they could buy dmg i told them on uniswap v2 but i think for many people it's very difficult to do it on a decentralized exchange or at least they are not used to do it um so right now you can buy it on okex as well because that is also a lot easier to do or a lot more familiar for most people in crypto all right guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if so let me know in the comment section down below what you think about a video series uh, such as this video about uh, some coin news that I do like every week or every two weeks. So this way you guys can stay updated with the most important cryptocurrency news um, and don't need to follow Twitter for that. So I will bring it to you in a video. So let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, also give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all latest cryptocurrency news, reviews, my own portfolio and much more. I thank you for watching and I see you next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.